My lab works on DNA methylation. Uh, it's one of the key epigenetic modifications that uh, humans and other mammals use to regulate our genomes in terms of the structure of the genome as well as uh, gene expression. In cancer particularly, there are a lot of global changes that we've known for many years across many different cancer types. So my work focuses on trying to understand where these changes are occurring in different types of cancer and how they impact the uh, phenotype of the cancer in terms of how they respond to therapy, in terms of how they impact the survival uh, of, of patients and how the disease progresses. It holds the promise of if we are able to change back the abnormal DNA methylation that we see in cancer, could we limit cancer development? Because it impacts many facets of cancer, it impacts not just the cancer cells themselves, but all the other types of cells that uh, the cancer cells are interacting with uh, within the patient's body. Um, it also holds promises in, in promoting therapeutic responses. Where did the abnormal patterns come from? Uh, what's causing it? And for me, that's, that's part of being, you know, being a scientist, to ask some of these questions that no one has answers to. The molecular medicine program here at the Lerner Research Institute is really quite a unique program. Every PhD student that comes through our program has both a uh, PhD thesis advisor where they are conducting their primary work, but also a clinical uh, advisor where they uh, will be able to develop a clinical curriculum. When I had my own PhD student coming uh, through this program, um, I think after his clinical experience, the first thing that he said to me when he came back to lab full time was, I now truly have a a uh, profound appreciation of what, what it is that we're doing in the lab. And I really feel connected to patients that are undergoing prostate cancer therapy. That was what his PhD thesis was about.